Hi, this is Pat Morgan. We are live at Lattice's Avant Launch at the Computer History Museum in Silicon Valley. Things are rocking. Huge announcement today. Daniel, this is awesome. You know how much I like product announcements. I love being around the Computer History Museum. So much of what we do. We love silicon, we love big announcements, and we love hearing about the future of FPGAs. And Lattice has been a really exciting company, so big day today. Yeah, what I love too, and especially I, I love to geek out on the technology, but what I also l appreciate is the doubling of the addressable market of the company, and that's a big deal. I mean, how many announcements could potentially double the size of the company? Well, we've watched over the last you know, eight to 12 quarters, um, Lattice Semiconductor has been on a terror. And you and I both published numerous articles, Market Watch, Forbes, yeah. you know, we put a lot of opinion out there, and it's been a really impressive run, and I think it's great that we're going to have the opportunity here to show our audience a little bit of what they did today, some of the announcements of Avant. You know, you're talking power efficiency, yep. you know, we're talking better performance, we're talking AI. We've got an expert, Deepak, here that's ready to show us what's going on and show you. So why don't we do that? Deepak, what are, what are we looking at here at the first demo? Yeah, so in this demo, we're going to measure the power consumption of the Avant FPGA, right, relative to similar class of FPGAs from other vendors, right? So this board that you see here has an ARIA 5 FPGA from Intel, Kintex 7 FPGA from AMD Xilinx, and of course the Avant FPGA from Lattice. Now many of the applications for this class of FPGAs typically have frequencies in the 100 to 350 megahertz range. Right? So what we're going to show here is as we modulate the frequency in that range. Right. So starting with 100 megahertz, you can see the Avant FPGA, right, we have up to two and a half times lower power consumption. And as we continue to modulate the frequency throughout this range, right, you can see how Avant continues to have up to two and a half times lower power consumption than other FPGAs. And this really helps simplify thermal management and lowers operating costs. Yeah, let's uh, dive, do a double click on this. First of all, I just want to say I love your demos and um, your marketing department, uh, I, I like these so much because it's hitting on something that a lot of embedded companies don't do. They don't do a very good job uh, showing what, what this might mean, so I appreciate that. I want to do the double click, though, on thermal management and cost. Like, why is it, why does this equate, this benefit, equate to lower cost for your partners? Yeah, absolutely, right? So in many of these class uh, types of applications, especially if you think about edge computing, right? There's so much intelligence moving to the edge. Like a lot of these devices have to do a lot more computing than before, but they have the same constraints in terms of form factor and uh, uh, power consumption. So they just cannot afford to have things like uh, fans and heat sinks and stuff, right? So... Well, in fact, there are some implementations that, that you can't put a fan in, and also fan, spent a little time at a real product company before, F uh, fan equals l less reliability in the end. Absolutely, right, so that definitely helps uh, from that standpoint as well. And then there are battery operated uh, equipment too, right, like industrial uh, robots, for example, right? I mean, every uh, uh, milliwatt of power that you can save, right, just helps extend the battery life longer. Right. So Deepak, People always want to be able to correlate a technological advantage, or in this case, say, you know, power efficiency to the application. So you kind of alluded to it a little bit with the edge, but talk a little bit more about the applications your partners and customers are coming to you looking to solve. Absolutely, right? So power consumption, low power consumption is so important across so many different segments. Uh, so we see that in the industrial side, for example, with, uh, you know, some examples like machine vision cameras. Right, that again are getting smarter, but still have the form factor and thermal constraints. We have industrial robotics, we have uh, edge servers, right, that are being placed uh, closer to the edge. We have automotive uh, infotainment, ADAS kind of applications, and then of course the traditional communications uh, applications, right, with uh, 5G base stations and small cells in the future. Right, that have uh, that are really compact in size, and that they can really benefit from this low power. Oh, Deepak, that's terrific. Hey, Pat, we got two more demos. Why don't we go over and have Deepak show us a little bit about the performance advantages? That's great. Let's do it. Deepak, thanks so much for showing us the power advantage demo for the new Lattice Avant. But you know, you can hit low power, but 
the next question is, can you hit the performance that you're going after? Absolutely, right? So that's what we're going to be showing in this demonstration. So we'll be measuring the performance of the Avant FPGA in a high-speed data transfer application. Right? So we have the same board as before, the exact same board, with the ARIA 5 FPGA, Kintex 7 FPGA, and the Avant FPGA. So right? Intel, AMD, Lattice. Lattice, exactly. Got it. And the SERDES channel from each of these FPGAs is connected to a different board that measures the, that does the clock and data recovery and monitoring of the data transfer. So the key thing is uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, start the data transfer. And you can see how the Avant FPGA completes the data transfer two times faster than the other FPGAs. And basically this delivers increased bandwidth and lower system costs. Okay, so you're dealing with power, you're doubling performance. Where are the customers gonna be, you know, what are the applications gonna be coming to you and saying, this is something we explicitly believe Lattice is gonna be able to sell for us that these others can't? Yeah, I mean, performance uh, and even connectivity performance, right, which is what we're showing here, is going up in so many applications, uh, with especially all the video kind of uh, resolutions going up in the industrial space, the data coming from cameras and image sensors, as well as uh, going into the displays, right? So the video kind of uh, related uh, traffic is going up, the speeds are going up. And then obviously on the comp side, we have the usual networking uh, and 5G kind of data rates uh, that are basically going up as well, right? So this faster connectivity helps in all those applications. So let's say something in networking, it would be the difference between, it would literally be the line speed uh, of, of that network connectivity and then for other applications, it could be the difference between either, let's say, the, the number of cameras coming into the system or even the resolution Excellent. of yeah. the video coming into the subsystem itself. So automotive, uh, robotics, and pretty much anything that connects uh, via network, which is pretty much everything. Absolutely, right, and uh, we touched on this before with the whole intelligence aspect, right? Uh, all these devices are getting smarter and there's so much uh, connectivity, right, uh, in, the, in the automotive space, connect, uh, connectivity within the car, the industrial uh, networking space right. with Ethernet and TSN kind of uh, protocols. Sounds like you've got speed, you've got power. One of the big applications everyone's asking about now, though, is, is AI. That's right. So I heard you've got something to show there. How about we head over and you give Absolutely. us Absolutely. Let's do it. Deepak. Artificial intelligence is a really big topic this year. Patrick and I are constantly covering it, talking about it, and everyone's asking, in the FPGA space with this Savant launch, AI's gotta be a part of your story. Tell us about that. Absolutely, right? So we have a really uh, cool demo here with uh, where we'll be showcasing the Avant FPGA-based AI inferencing solution. And this performs real-time analytics on a video stream and we'll show vehicles operating under different uh, traffic conditions, right? And we'll see how uh, the solution performs in terms of detecting and tracking the vehicles. So let's go ahead and uh, play the first video clip, right? So we, here we see a bunch of slow moving vehicles and the AI solution, as you can see, identifies the vehicles with a green box around them and tracks the movement of the vehicles. Now in the second clip, the conditions are much harsher, right? With fog, snow, faster oncoming traffic but the AI solution is still able to keep pace with all that and continues to track uh, the movement. Now this last clip has extremely fast moving traffic, right? Uh, and the AI solution is still able to identify and track the different cars on the road, right? So this is really an example of how Avant can deliver scalable AI performance for a variety of different edge computing use cases. Now this is great, and I particularly love that last one because it was a good, did, did you send that video from how you drive, Dan, in Texas? The or third one, just the last one. I got you, okay. This is good, so AI is definitely more about automotive, but I think it's something we can all relate to. Uh, how about you know smart factories, smart distribution, other types of applications? Absolutely, right, so AI is being used in so many different uh, industrial uh, applications. You mentioned smart factory, robotics, right, both the fixed and mobile robots that need to move around and basically do object detection and collision avoidance right. and stuff like that. You have machine vision cameras that uh, basically do the quality inspection, right, so that's uh, a use case for AI. 
and yeah, the typical surveillance cameras as well, right? So, and this could actually, this could also be an example of a traffic uh, management system, right. right? So, hey, let's get another ad. Smart city, right? Yeah, that's so the smart, smart retail, city, yeah. smart factory, smart distribution. Pretty much intelligence. Anytime you have a camera mm -hmm. that you want to pull into intelligence. Uh, exactly. Right. Okay. So yeah. So basically, anywhere that inferencing needs to be done at the edge. Absolutely. Yeah. Is, uh, is yeah. there. Um, you know, anytime there's a launch, it's always about generation to generation. You know, this is the launch uh, of Avant, but Nexus to Avant. Talk just a little bit about kind of what are some of the in improvements of performance uh, that you know people can really expect in terms of AI. Absolutely, right? So yeah, I think uh, you're spot on. Even with Nexus, so we have very good uh, success and traction with uh, AI uh, use cases. In fact, we're building on that with Avant, right? So the, the way to think about it is, I mean, even if you take this particular example, the Nexus uh, products will probably do a good job of the first uh, kind of slower moving traffic, right, and the second one. But it's really uh, uh, use cases where you need uh, faster frames per second processing or higher quality resolution. That's where Avant uh, really uh, kind of uh, adds to what we already have. And the beauty is the FPGAs, right, both are programmable. And uh, as you know, the AI uh, world is still evolving, right, with all the networks and models still uh, you know, changing. So both of them have the basic uh, value proposition of FPGA programmability. Yeah, so Deepak, uh, really appreciate you taking us through these demos of the new Avant product. We looked at power, we looked at performance, we also looked at AI performance. So I appreciate uh, you taking us through that. Oh, my pleasure, and thank you. So it's a great launch here. Uh, we are live here at the Lattice Avant launch event uh, at the Computer History Museum in Silicon Valley. This is rocking it, great demos, great presentations. Tune in to check out some of our other videos on the event. We are tuning out here, I want to thank you for tuning in. If you like what you heard, hit that subscribe button. Take care.